Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly singles love reading for Cancer. How are you guys this week, Cancer? Hope all is well in your world. Thanks so much for dropping in. Let's see what your energies are, a single Cancer. There we go. Ooh, goddess of the moon. So it's an energy of exploring your emotions and your, feel and your feelings. Beautiful. So it looks like that's your energy. Definitely here with this moon energy. I see some romance here. Yeah, you may have your your heart in a little bit of a cage right now. Someone is holding that key. And the key is romance. Oh yeah. Cancer. Beautiful. Yeah. Definitely there's been some kind of a journey and a choice. So I feel as though you're choosing to maybe walk away from someone. Someone may be keeping secrets, hiding something. Okay, or you're just walking away, but you're moving towards something new. You can see that sun shining out there. So you've been on a bit of a journey. There's been a journey here. So there's some kind of a choice. You may have been a little stuck at some point. Okay, so it's about exploring your feelings, your emotions, your inner self trusting your intuition yeah you're making some kind of choice in love soulmate connection lovely i see two people drinking from each other's cup here yeah someone who's just right nice you may have someone who's not right for you like i say love is a journey so you've been on that journey the choice you see you're going to make a choice to walk away from someone or it's another person walking away from someone who's not right maybe there's a divorce Okay, but it's about someone coming in and just right. Yeah, it's being practical, sensible, beautiful, very balanced. I can see you being very balanced here. And it could be someone who's walking away from a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn and coming your way. Yeah, it's, I feel it has to do with um, just being practical and sensible. It's when something feels right. It feels just right. You see? Aha, uh -huh. success, truth, victory. Beautiful. Yeah, look at that little Aquarius energy. I feel what you have here is releasing things that no longer serve. You know your worth and your value. You want someone who comes in right, okay? So I feel there's someone here who kind of chose, um, this is about choosing your battle, see? Success. Yeah. Somebody here, I feel, you know, has to do with some of you been focused more on your money here as well. But you know your worth and value. I feel like you're releasing something that no longer serves. Yeah, I feel as though this has to do with your hopes and dreams. Okay. Yeah, just letting go. Well, someone here has rushed in before they were sure that you were the right person or what they wanted. Well, it's a person who rushes in without thinking. It's a person who chooses their battles. Yeah, some of you are cho choosing to be successful too, first and foremost. Lovely. Yeah, let's have a look at this Two of Cups. Yeah, so we've got someone who's a little shy, a little apprehensive. If you have a person who makes up excuses or tells you a story, okay, someone here, there's a fish in that cup. That's what I, I feel as though you've, you're walking away from someone here. Yeah, someone here is apprehensive. They don't really know what they want. Um, sometimes it's a person who's not the most sincere. They just kind of tell you what you want to hear. So I feel like you're choosing. You're trusting your intuition, I feel, here. That's your inner wisdom, the goddess of the moon, yeah. So it has to do with chemistry, a bond, a connection between two. So I feel like you're choosing uh, someone who's right, yeah. You're manifesting love. You have all the tools, the information, everything you need. You're mastering life. So you are the master of your own domain, your own feelings. So very, very nice here. Yeah, there's someone here, I feel. If you have a person here who's making up excuses, it's possible they're in a relationship, okay? Or they just don't want to, the fear of commitment, possibly. Yeah, see, thank you, but no thank you. This is where you know. Uh, someone's just not right. Something is off. Yeah, see, it's there's some kind of a decision. You may be a little indecisive. Maybe you're not seeing right away. Okay, but I also see a Gemini energy. You could have someone around you who's indecisive, strong Gemini. It could be someone who makes up excuses or they're apprehensive, but you could get a communication from someone. Yeah, someone here maybe it has to do with being single. Some of you are maybe even not sure at some point here whether you want to just be single or not, but I feel it's somebody who's 
probably going to try to find out if you are or aren't. But you're looking out for yourself. Queen of Pentacles always looks out for the Queen of Pentacles. You're manifesting life. You're focused on money, your own financial foundation, more than likely here. You take care of yourself. There's definitely an energy of independence. You look good, okay? But I feel there's some kind of a decision. There's someone here that's not right for you. Like I say, you got someone here who's probably making up excuses, don't make excuses for somebody else too, okay? <laughs> yeah, there it is. He's success. This is about partnering up between two people. So there's a lot of financial stability. Yeah, yeah. You got someone here who's a little bit sneaky. So you got someone who's a bit sneaky. Yeah, somebody rushed in, chose their battles. So uh, I feel it has to do with, you know, yourself choosing something that's worth fighting for. And I feel like you're going to let go. Uh, I feel like there's someone here that it just doesn't serve you. Uh, you definitely know your worth. Yeah, you've got someone else. It looks like you've got another person here. Yeah, you're making a choice. I feel like you've got a person here who, in fact, it almost feels like you've already let this go. Because I feel it's an energy of looking at the facts, okay, being very logical. Uh, I also see the energy of a fixer-upper. Okay, so no more fixer-uppers here. <laughs> yeah, you got a king of pentacles. Who is this person? Yeah. Ooh, someone very attractive, very charming, very passionate, possibly creative. This could be the one. Oh, yeah, there it is. Look at that. Nine of wands, ten of wands. So it's an energy of someone here who's putting something behind. We have the king and queen of pentacles. We have the power couple here. So this is someone who's looking back at all that hard work. This is someone here who's definitely focused on their finances, absolutely. And I feel both are, but I feel someone's sneaky. You know, someone here, definitely. I feel like you've got this person who manipulates a little bit. They make up excuses, tell you a story, whatever it is you want to hear. You may have even failed to recognize it. Like, I feel like you've already released this willingly. You see, but it has to do with choosing the one. There's someone here who I feel a little mirroring, someone who's sort of feels like you do. They've worked very hard to get where they're at. They're almost there. This is someone who's ready for the one. So it has to do with choosing. Now, it could be someone here, like I say, um, who, you know, has to make a choice themselves. But it has to do with being fair, balanced, justice, somebody coming in just right. I feel like you're really balanced. OK, yeah, you've. You're looking out for yourself, looking out for number one. But I also feel that's a connection with this person. You mirror each other. Okay, they, They're they looking back at all this hard work. This is a person who's worked very hard to get where they're at. But it has to do with this their passions, this new beginning, this passionate new beginning. Somebody definitely adores you, admires you. So there's something mutual between you and this other person. Yeah, he's definitely looking at that Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you're just balanced here. This is beautiful. Someone sees you as their hopes and dreams here. Now, it's possible this person uh, feels like you're a little out of their league. Okay, it's possible. So they might be a little sneaky. Like I say, they could just sort of tell you what you want to hear. But I would be careful. I mean, it could be just like I say, someone who's a little apprehensive. They might feel like you're out of their league. So I wouldn't assume anyone who comes towards you is sneaky. Sometimes this is a person who is just very logical. They want to win. They're determined. You know, somebody who doesn't want to give up. They're choosing something worth fighting for. But honestly, I feel most of you are leaving someone behind. Someone you don't see a future with. Because I feel like you have new romance coming in. Oh, you've got an emperor coming in here. Oh, yeah. Someone who knows what they want. <laughs> an emperor. Yeah, it could be this person you're leaving behind. It could be Virgo. Um I definitely see that Gemini, really strong Gemini, and Libra, really strong Libra energy as well. So, yeah, see, there's definitely an energy of someone who's not reciprocating. See, someone who, uh, I feel like you've got a person who doesn't really, it could be someone who tempts you. They kind of reach out, you know, but I feel like you're no longer giving. I feel like you're figuring it out. I feel like you are, and I feel like you're releasing it willingly. Yeah, you're no longer talking to someone here, no longer giving to them, because maybe that's why they're sneaky, they've manipulated. Um, you're protecting yourself here. Yeah, there's definitely an energy of lack. 
somebody is coming in with lock. So it has to do with the person who comes in right. They come in right, okay? Somebody's not coming in right. It could be the emperor too. Either or, king of queen, king of pentacles. Yeah, this is definitely an energy of lack of reciprocity, but I feel like, you know, there's a lack. Something's lacking. You got someone here who's definitely coming in with lack. And I feel like maybe it's because you're stable financially. If you are, really watch anyone who, make sure they have your best interest at heart because there's that light bulb, that aha moment. Okay, I think you're the one who's going to figure it out here. But if you got a sneaky person, they're coming up with some kind of an idea. Okay, the fish in the cup. Who's this emperor? Yeah, this is the one that you're going to end it with. So it does look like someone's coming with luck, and it looks like you have a choice here. Yeah, this has been a painful ending here. Yeah, this is somebody who's not maybe not very romantic, or but somebody is coming in right. So maybe it is this. Maybe you got somebody who's a, a Taurus Gemini cusp. Maybe that's what's going on. And I definitely see a Virgo energy, but I see it all starts with communication, how somebody communicates. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Yeah, I still feel like someone here's uh, choosing their battles. And I feel like that's yourself making a choice, choosing something that's worth putting in the work, you know, something that's worth fighting for. Uh, definitely there's someone here who's, there's somebody who's indecisive. And I feel it's yourself. So I feel like you're just kind of staying in single mode, looking out for yourself. Yeah, someone's coming in with luck. That's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Ah, something feels off the way they communicate. Something lacking in the way they communicate. They don't tell you everything you need to know. Okay, and that's where I feel it. Something doesn't feel right. It's uncomfortable. So there's someone here like you may. And sometimes I see this as when you meet somebody and you're walking on glass, you're not that comfortable. You just, you want to be able to just be yourself. That's the Queen of Pentacles energy. You want to feel safe and secure and comfortable with someone. There's someone here you're not comfortable with. So, yeah. And I feel it's an energy of just walking on glass. Something just feels off. It could be just a lack of chemistry. Or you just know they're sneaky. It may take you, like it could be yourself just, you know, figuring this out here and that light bulb going off. But I feel like you got a person who's, trying to figure out um, they're sneaky the way they communicate they're trying to figure out um, they're going to reach out to you maybe hoping you'll reciprocate so it's like a counter offer but there it is yeah see someone chasing uh, success here i feel as though this is an energy of freeing yourself yeah i feel like you can see this won't go anywhere it won't be successful i feel like you're just doing your own thing here Okay, you could be the, this king of pentacles or a queen, but there's someone here who's there's chemistry and someone where it's just off or you just aren't comfortable being with them. Okay, that walking on glass energy, you see, that's how I often see that. But definitely there's an ending of this emperor energy. Someone who probably wants things their way. You know, someone who's missed an opportunity, failed to recognize, you see. Yeah, maybe it's yourself too. You may have failed to recognize someone here just wants to be single. But I wouldn't worry because it's, I see a breakthrough. I see you breaking free. Um, you're focused on, on your money. You're moving away. You're moving towards something long term. So yeah, with every ending, there comes a new beginning, a journey, getting out, meeting new people. See, this is very positive. You may meet someone through friends or family. Tell me about the three of cups, yeah. So it has to do with how someone conducts themselves. It has to do with having faith. There's someone here I feel like you just don't have faith for long term. They may not even be faithful, okay, because there's something you don't know. They don't tell you a lot. They're you know, kind of secretive. They hide things. They're very mysterious, okay. And that's possible some of you are acting a little aloof as well. Cancer, there you are. Yeah, you're taking back your power. You're, you're trying to control your emotions, maybe acting a little aloof like you're not interested, but you are moving away. See, this is an energy of being determined. Um, this is yourself being determined. Okay. Yeah, staying in control of your emotions. You're no longer letting them rule you. You know something feels off. So that's why I feel like you're ending something. Yeah. You've got romance coming in, though. I see someone here who, it's an energy of you're just not on the same page. They're not your type. Their lifestyle's off. Whatever it is, something is off. 
I feel there's a lot to do with the communication and just their overall the way they conduct themselves. So, yeah. See, you're trusting your intuition. You're being very wise. It's where you just know. Okay, so you can trust your intuition here. You know, it's kind of keeping a secret. Someone may be keeping a little bit of a secret here. Yeah, they could be in a relationship. Uh, someone who acts single when they're not. So watch that energy. Yeah, because it has to do with faith, habits, the way you conduct yourself. Now, if you have a place where you go and socialize a habit, that's likely where you're going to meet someone. There's likely someone here who adores you and admires you. There's, some, there's another person here, most definitely. Yeah, there it is. You're walking away from one, moving towards another, or they are. Okay, so... Do take the time, though. Let's have a look at this Seven of Swords. Yeah, see, someone who doesn't tell you, they kind of just tell you what you want to hear. They kind of, you know, kind of cherry pick what they're going to say. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're not telling you everything. Yeah, they come in with lack. Could be someone who doesn't have a lot of money, acts like they do when they don't, too chasing someone because they're successful but maybe someone feels that way about yourself but you know it's an energy of someone who fails to recognize that and i feel you take care of yourself you look good you're independent yeah you're in charge of your own life here i feel like you're just letting go of anything that no longer serves or anybody okay you know your worth and value here so i feel like you're just focused on uh, the future and i feel like you're just breaking free of this yeah, you've got something new. you got someone new coming in. This is the person, but maybe you're going to start something and you're keeping it to yourself. Um, some of you may be um, starting something new and not telling the other person. <laughs> okay, right away till you're sure. But there's that energy of things becoming very clear. See, once you let go of things that no longer serve. Yeah. Very independent. Very grounded and sensible. Definitely someone with a comfortable home. Yeah. You want someone who's successful too, I feel. You know, it's like you mirror. You both, you and this person want the same thing. So you definitely got new. But I feel like you're going to start something before something's ended or somebody else is doing that. Starting something with you before they end something with another person. So just really watch that energy, okay? So you don't get caught up in something here. You might decide to just be friends first, but I can definitely see walking towards the new. Uh -huh. You're trusting your intuition, your inner knowing. Okay. I feel like you probably know who this is, but there's someone who knows everything they need to know about you. Uh, definitely they're in your social circle. Yeah. Someone around you. Let's have a look at that three of cups oops there we go yeah see someone has some kind of regrets and remorse uh, kind of feels like there's no hope you know, someone's having someone's got some regrets here it could be yourself at this crossroads feel like there's no hope okay yeah but i feel there is there it's here there's someone new coming in things are becoming clear i see something making you really happy uh, i feel like you're just gonna figure out there's something off with someone yeah they're just a little on the sneaky side they're very secretive now it could be like you feel there's not a lot of hope you don't have faith in this person uh, maybe they're not faithful you just don't trust them whatever the situation your intuition's going to guide you yeah so your intuition i see something ending yeah this could be a scorpio um yeah so i feel there's definitely something starts uh, and ends very quickly. And then I, yeah, because someone's being sneaky. And then you've got this new. So I feel you're, there's definitely something going to start before this is over. But take it as it resonates. Tell me about this two of cups. This is a friendship. Two people, maybe friends first. Starting something. You may have a person here who starting to look at you differently who's a friend around you. They may be starting to feel differently about you. Like I say, I mean, it's like I say, you may decide to end something because there's a new person. Look at that. You got a king of cups. 
Yeah. You Now, I don't know if this is a person who doesn't tell you that they start something before they're over someone or end a situation. It's often a person who doesn't like to be alone. So they do that, right? They don't like to be alone or they just start, you know, um, it's energy of someone who doesn't communicate a lot. They breadcrumb. So, yeah, I feel like, you know, there's something off and I don't think this is going to be something unexpected. Okay. So, but that you've got a king of cup, cup, someone emotionally mature and available. So I, I feel what you have is a person who, it's either you or them who starts something and it ends, but the news still here. You see, it starts, it ends painful with an emperor, someone who wants everything their way, you see. And I feel there's a lack, a lack of romantic energy, a lack of emotion. So, whoops, this goes here. Tell me more about this King of Cups. Who is this person? Oh, yeah, they're offering you something solid. They want to start something with you. So, wow. Now, it could like I say, you could meet each other somewhere through friends or family at some kind of an event. There's a lot of chemistry. Um, if you feel something is off, you're walking on glass or something isn't right, please trust your intuition. Tell me about the death card. With every ending comes that new beginning, though. Yeah, ending things with the Scorpio, um, Leo, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, or somebody who's just in that energy. You got a bit of a player energy. You got a player here. So that's what's ending. Okay. Maybe it's yourself just keeping things to yourself about this till you make a decision. Tell me about that Nine of Pentacles. It's been haunting me. Yeah, see, so leaving something behind, going off on a whole new path, a little Aries. I feel like you've got a person taking a risk. You may, you know, I feel like it's a person who isn't really single, okay? Or they, they're not really over something here. But you definitely have an energy of starting something and it ends just as quick. And then you got the new. So you have, definitely have a King of Cups coming in. It's right there. Oh, beautiful energy. Yeah. You've got the offer coming in. Tell me about this emperor. I just want to make sure because it really, there's three energies here. Tell me about this emperor. Who is this? Who's this emperor? Yeah, yeah so it's energy where you're moving on, but it could be somebody coming back around too. But I feel it has to do with you changing. Okay, moving on from someone after it ends. Yeah. You could have a person coming back around if it started and ended and then they come back around. Um, but you got a king of cups. You've got all four kings here now. No, not the king of swords. Wow. Yeah, you got a solid offer. This is someone who wants to build a foundation, starting things off on the right foot offering you that cup so they're going to offer you the cup but it looks like an invitation you could actually start something with someone um, you could all be in the same social circle but we have someone at a crossroads in their life here too so you may have another person also approaching you at a uh, an event with other people uh, other people being involved could be some matchmaking here too between friends and family you might just friend zone someone. Oh, yeah, there you are. Look at that. Oh, there's that King of Swords. <laughs> someone, see, strategic, see, sneaky, analyzing a situation. It has to do with someone lacking, lacking the confidence. I feel like you want to be careful with someone who acts like they have money when they don't or vice versa. So there's the healing, the releasing. See, letting go of negative thoughts and energy. I definitely feel like you're open. We have a couple here. So I feel like you're going to walk away. You're going to go towards the new. Uh, you may be a little unsure yourself. Tell me about this magician. You know, there's a little mirroring here. You may have a type often like where you have two people who are very much the same. They mirror each other. Okay, so you have to watch for that because that shows that you have a type. Okay, so this is where I feel like you're taming that beast within yourself, recognizing your type. Okay, they come towards you because of your high vibration. So it's a low vibrational person coming. Dishonest, deceptive, mind games, manipulation, you know, player energy. 
Yeah, it's all going to be exposed because I feel like you're going to see it. See, this is somebody coming in just right. Yeah, it's where you know this is where you're going to become clear too. Wow, if someone sees you the same way. Very nice. Yeah, there's an options, possibilities, and fantasizing. See, it's going to be exposed that someone has other options and they're keeping it to themselves. And you may be just keeping them open, like I say, until somebody commits. You're a single free person here. Always remember that, okay? If somebody is non-committal or um, they don't come around very often. You, you know what? It's open season here. But I see the couple that work together, stay together, play together energy. Okay? That's where I feel like you're headed. And I do see taking a little break on this life path, this choice, healing. Okay? I feel like you're going through change. You're moving away. You're moving on. After something ended, yeah, see, there's the birth of something new. You've changed. You've learned a lot of lessons. Look at that. You're going for the new. There's someone here who definitely knows, you know, they, they see you. They know your worth, your value. Uh, someone is definitely fantasizing here about you. But I see a little pause and a break where you make this life choice, okay? And it could be the other person, but... Really just pay attention to who comes around. I feel like you probably have a lot of options or there's someone who feels like you do. They're looking to see if you're seeing anyone. We have an emperor and an empress. So, and it could be someone coming back around. But you, you've got this beautiful empress energy. See, the healing, the releasing negative thoughts and energy. A little pause in this life path before you make a decision. So, so basically, a lot of times they see it as just sleeping on it, okay, before you decide. But look at that. Two people going to drink from each other's cup. This is definitely, uh, I mean, you may have multiple opportunities. <laughs> I definitely see the emotional two people uh, share it. You're going to share that cup. <laughs> You're going to drink from the same cup. Yeah, they want to build with you. So it's definitely an energy of new. I just want to look at that magician energy. Yeah, someone who rushes in, rushes out, manipulation. It's a person who gets pressured easily. They run. And someone who runs away. They come towards you, and then they go back towards another person. So that's where I feel like you're breaking free from that. Okay? Because you're open to new. Uh, new options, new possibilities. I feel like you're just going to keep your options open, okay? But I feel like you know someone else has other options, and that's the thing. It's like I feel like it's an energy of just everything being exposed, and everything out in the open. But it's an energy of a person who often procrastinates, you see, and then they have to choose. Somebody's about to choose. You and them. There's mirroring. So like I say it could be the King of Pentacles coming towards you. You could be ending it with a um, an emperor type or vice versa. Yeah, Queen of Swords. You know your worth and value. You're being very discerning and very wise. It's an energy of healing and releasing a lot of negativity. You're cutting someone out, definitely, because you. I do see romance coming your way. <laughs> you want a little more romance. Yeah, it's the key to the heart, you see. Your heart's in a cage. I feel like you're kind of protecting yourself. You, know, you got your sword up there. You're figuring things out, you see. No more fixers, fixer-uppers for you. Someone here's a fixer-upper. You know, they're not dishon they're dishonest and deceptive, or they just don't tell you the whole truth. So there it is, taking a pause, looking at... There's that pause you're going to take. Looking at things from a different perspective. Okay, seeing things differently. Definitely there's someone around you checking you out, though. Yeah. There's definitely the possibility of someone coming back around, though. Okay? Waiting for you to heal. But I feel as though it's it, it looks like you've got new. Maybe while you're waiting here. I've been seeing that energy a lot. So I feel that's like an, you know, an energy of the Empress. You know, you're only going to wait for so long kind of energy. And then somebody comes in. Um, I definitely see a, this other person maybe being a Pisces or Scorpio, maybe another Cancer. Yeah, it's a choice here. <laughs> uh -huh. I love this energy. This is a couple. 
see offering you something reliable solid they're committing you know they're they're building the foundation coming in right emotionally mature and ready they're confident let's have a look at the lovers yeah see the word love just came out so this is all about love making choices and love here there's the the horn the communication right beside um uh, the magician which is communication often okay manifesting through communication so it has to do with someone who you communicate well okay you're confident you're comfortable with them okay but definitely there's someone here where you feel like you're walking on glass and that's what i feel where you're just not comfortable that's i feel where you're going to take that little pause uh, there's the m so it's a communication a horn uh, somebody definitely it's like the judgment where someone you know you have to make a decision but i definitely feel there could be someone coming back around there's the star releasing things that no longer serve yeah there's the person coming in see there's that little the little rose it's a little tiny rose it's so small whoops <laughs> can barely hold it there little tiny rose so this is the offer of love here so this is somebody coming towards you see there's a there's an energy of long-term commitment yeah strength you see somebody here is confident someone's not so much and it could be yourself where you don't feel very confident with someone yeah there's the anchor that's an energy i always connect that with the moon very deep feelings secrets keeping things hidden you may have taken a risk with someone here you know like i say and failed to recognize no, they weren't single or they really wanted to just stay single. Yeah, so there we have making peace. So this could be one last look over your shoulder, making peace with the past and, and let it go. I love the star here because this tells me you know your worth and value. And I feel there's someone here who adores you, okay? There's definitely someone who adores you. Tell me about temperance. Yeah, there's definitely somebody with a bit of an ego. You know, something is off a lot of air <laughs> a lot of hot air there yeah and the letter a there is the person putting their best foot forward see taking a step in the right direction it's also about taking the necessary steps that's why i feel like you've got the person who's mature you know, they connect and now it could be a friend who's suddenly feeling different about you they may be looking at you different you know <laughs> uh-huh could be someone you've shared all your secrets with. Maybe you know all their secrets and vice versa. Yeah, seven of cups. Yeah, there's the energy of being still. It's also about balance with temperance, taking that little moment, making sure if something doesn't feel right. So it's about looking at all the possibilities. I feel it has to do with looking at the possibilities of how this is going to play out. Yeah. And that's where I feel someone's preparing themselves here for how this may play out. And I feel that's why I, I really feel some of you uh, are ending. Um, you could be ending things with an emperor, but uh, like I say, it could be that king of uh, pentacles as well. It's definitely a person, you know, they're both, I feel, you know, financially stable. Maybe you have someone who's a business owner here. But we've got a sneaky person. And I, I don't, when I see that many cards like that, then I'm like, whoa, 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 careful yeah so there's definitely there's a horse here so things are moving at a good pace there's the o this is where i feel like you're starting over a fresh new start you got this other opportunity yeah, the letter q letter k i feel with q is like right on time it has to do with the timing i feel as well yeah, could be initials first and last and letter i the letter F, there's the cycle ending. See, looking at things from a different perspective. So I feel like this is a cycle in your life that's over. It's painful. It's done. Okay. You've got really good things to look forward to. So I feel like you're just releasing a lot of negativity and healing. And I feel taking a little bit of a break too. Yeah, there's that cup. There's this opportunity. The letter Y, you're going to go for this. The letter T. And there's the strength and confidence long term. 
So, yeah. So I, I really like this energy. Uh, I feel like you're just going to do the sensible thing. And that's why I feel the Queen of Pentacles is here. There's someone you're not comfortable with. Okay. And it's likely if you have had an on and off relationship, it's someone who rushes in, rushes out. Okay. They don't always tell you the truth. And you may all of a sudden have this epiphany and realize they likely have other options. Okay. But it could be someone who feels that way about you as well. So just so you know, <laughs> let's have a look at this King of Cups. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this is definitely someone who's thinking commitment long term. Beautiful letter M and S where you meet people involved initials first and last. Yeah, this is also someone very wise, but it's also telling you to be wise because that Queen of Swords energy being very wise to see. Okay, so there's a lot of a wisdom here. So it's about making a decision to walk away. I almost feel like it's them walking away from someone. I mean, maybe they've, maybe they've got a queen of pentacles they're walking away from. I don't know. But it definitely has to do with money, finances, and success. Someone's lacking. Okay, now it's possible you had somebody here who, you know, somebody with a really big ego, even arrogant, where... They feel like you're out of their league, so they, they make you feel that way. So it's like they project. So that's that negative, low vibrational person. So, but yeah, I really feel like you're just on the right path here. This has been a journey, I feel. A little bit of a journey in your love life. But it's about going down that path with this other person. So we have, there's a good omen. So this is, this person gets a good omen. The, the dragonfly, see there it is. Two people committing to this path. There it is, being an open book. See? So they may have Taurus in their chart, but that could have to do with having faith and committing to the path, being an open book, you see? Someone who's not afraid of wearing their heart on their sleeve. We have the moon. Two people showing their inner self. See? There's someone here who doesn't want to show you their inner self. You see? Uh, fear of commitment. Uh, they're hiding things. Um, I feel like that someone who's not doesn't let you in. They don't want to bring you around their friends and family. I feel there's just a lot of secrets. And I feel that's what you're going to see. And it could be a past relationship where you're just kind of, you know, you've got this new person coming in and now you're kind of thinking about other situations. Because the Empress does that. The Empress, you know, that's your skills, the lessons you've learned. That's your inner wisdom. So... But I really feel as though it's an energy of making a decision. I feel some of you are keeping your options open. Yeah, and I do feel like, you know, you've got this invitation and I feel like you're going to sleep on it and then I think you're going to take it by the looks of that cup. See, they're offering you that cup and I feel like you're going to accept it. Okay, so I really wish you the best here. Just take your time and sleep on any if you're in, unsure with this too, this indecision on this journey. Just sleep on it. Yeah, you'll feel differently maybe in the morning, okay? Because maybe I feel like maybe you've got some trust issues because of past, but that cycle's over. Things are now going in your favor. And I feel the timing is right as well here. Okay. Wish you the best and bye for now.